This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and I bought every single sculpting supply that Michael sells in store. I actually went to three different Michael's locations just in case one had some stuff that another one didn't. Today, we're gonna go through every single thing and see if it's worth it or not. Now, Michael and I go back pretty far, back to when I started needing poster board for school projects that were due the next day. And since then, it's been pretty much a love-hate relationship. Love, because for the most part, if I run out of something mid-project, if it's not too niche of an item, I can usually count on Michaels to have it in stock and I can just run up there and grab it, come back, finish the project and everyone's happy. And also because I love anyone who values art. Now the hate part comes a little more recently because I just think their prices keep going up and up. As I'm walking down the aisles, the prices are just going up behind me as I walk. And I just, I can't believe how expensive some things have gotten. And it's like, I'm just thinking like, your girl Joanne, she's about to go bankrupt. Like she's hanging on by a thread, no pun intended. And you're about to have all her customers. And like, don't even get me started on Hancock Fabrics. But anyway, I digress. Let's start looking at what sculpting supplies they carry. And just to preface this really quick, we will be talking about sculpting supplies and tools, not clay. So if you want to see what kind of stuff they got, then this is the video for you. Now, the first thing we have here is this $9 set of wooden tools and gouging tools that you can honestly get anywhere for way, way cheaper. $8.99 for this is absolutely ridiculous. We're really starting this off on a, on a bad foot. Don't open things with your teeth. This is what you get. $8.99, does that look like it's worth $8.99 to you? No. These things are super cheap. The markup on these tools is absolutely insane and for the most part like you're getting two of the same tool like this one's definitely supposed to be more angled than this one but you could do the same technique with both of these maybe it's a fluke for this package i don't know oh look a snack don't eat that and then this is just a round one again dime a dozen they don't even feel good quality they're super light now these i enjoy the shape of these i appreciate the shapes i think they're really nice and smooth and stuff but they're just cheap wooden tools. Like, I don't even know what kind of wood this is made out of. Like, and like, what is this? This is like the bamboo skewers that you can get a pack of like 4,000 of them for five bucks. Like this kind of stuff, if you're just getting started, you don't need these tools, especially not for $8.99. You can get tools that are way cheaper that are the same thing. So this kind of stuff, just stay away from it. Next, we're just gonna get all these fun little wooden tools out of the way first. Here's another set here. Like if you buy that one, you don't need to buy this one because it's all just repeats. This is by Craftsmart and I am not a fan of Craftsmart. Craftsmart is their like in-house brand, just like you got Kroger brand, you got great value for Walmart. Craftsmart is Michael's brand stuff. And honestly, I, I think they missed the mark on so many things. But anyway, this is not a Michael's hate video either. I honestly, like, I'm, I don't hate Michael's. They just do certain things that irritate me. So first thing we got is this thing. And this looks to be a hole punching tool for clay. Like you just sort of poke it through the clay and you get a nice big hole and it feels super lightweight, extremely light. You know this thing doesn't go all the way through and it'll probably pop out eventually as you use it. So I don't know, unless you really need one of these things. And also this was, how much was it? I just threw the back of it on the floor. I wrote all the prices down. $14.99, they want $14.99 for this. And then look, we got more of these fun little gouging tools, dime a dozen, super lightweight. They get the job done, I guess, but this is not worth $14.99. And you have this little scraping tool, good for texture. Then we've got this like, handheld drill tool. If you wanted to like, twist it and drill into your clay or like maybe put holes in beads or something. I don't know. Um, I've reviewed this tool before and I just don't know what you're supposed to do with it. And someone said in the comments that they use it to clear dried paint out of their paint containers. Like, you know, when you let it sit for too long, like you take the lid off, you try to squirt it out. It's all clogged with old paint. They use this to get rid of the old paint. <laughs> and then we've got another one of these tools. Like, honestly, if this was metal, I'd like it more because over time, I used to use these wooden tools all the time for sculpting with polymer clay. 
feel like I'm like pointing at you, sorry. And over time, they degrade, they dent, they nick, they scratch, and then that those scratches and those dents end up on your sculpture. And they, they like I said, they, they degrade and they don't hold up. This is such a random assortment of tools. Like if you really wanna spend $14.99 on a tool set, go into my description on this video and look at the stainless steel wax carving set that I have in there because that is definitely worth your money over this. So this is a fail. Like this is some like Timu-ish right here. All right, I'm gonna like something, I promise. I don't want this to be like a super negative video. I can't help that I'm honest. All right, next we have some rubber shapers. These are five millimeter rubber shapers and hmm, I don't hate these <laughs> right off the bat, so that's good. I like the length of them. I like that they're long because rubber shapers usually come like really short and I've got big hands and I don't know, I just like longer things in general that it's got a good like, you know, standard pen, pencil size. I enjoy that. And then it's got all your typical shaper tips. We've got a cone, a wedge, another wedge, this like flat round one. Oh, it's like curved in too. That's interesting. I've never seen one like that before. And then we got this one and I have no idea what you would use this one for. I have a million of them and I've never used it once. If you use this one with this, the bite taken out of it, uh, let me know what you do with it in the comments. But okay, 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 okay. I don't hate these. They seem firm enough to create good impressions in the clay. Now here's the real test. Can you just pull them out? Okay, okay. So, no, you can't. They're, they're in there pretty well. You actually have to like try to get it out. You eventually can, obviously, but uh, there's a good amount that's in the ferrule, so I think these pass the test. Not bad. You do have to apply a good amount of pressure to get it to work, but I mean, they could be a little firmer, but I can, I guess these are good. If you need rubber shapers and you want ones that are a little bit longer, these are a good route, so good job on these, Michaels. And next, just to follow those up, we've got some three millimeter mini ones. I actually don't have these. These are the same thing that we just looked at, except they're much smaller. They could be firmer. That's all I gotta say about them. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is this cutting blade. This was, this was $5.99 for one blade. I guess that's not bad. If you're like me and you're releasing your own products and stuff, like you know how much this these things cost to make and just the markup that some of these companies put on these products is insane. Like I would never sell this for $5.99. And I guess it's good if you need a flexible blade, but at the same time, it just feels extremely cheap. Let's see how it cuts. It's got this little like rubber lip on it that can come off. Oh look, it's like hooked on with a weird little notch there. So it stays in place. That was thoughtful. It's almost too flimsy. Like you can get a firmer blade that is still flexible. And like, I feel like I don't have any control when I'm using it. Cause I feel like it's wobbling all over my hands, but I don't know. Is $5.99 a lot for this? Kind of, but whatever could be worse also let's see if it ever breaks like how much you have to you almost bent it in half and it didn't break that was really stupid too don't do that so that's good that it didn't break but it's dented now <laughs> and i can't use it anymore don't bend your blades like that. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or a sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over five years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my work to the world and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I have an online shop where I can sell stickers, plushes, posters, sculpting supplies, and more. And Squarespace makes everything so easy. And I'm not kidding when I say that. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications every time something sells. Everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this 
day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence. And Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if all of this sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Next up, we've got these things. You can buy these at Michael's. These were, it's a ribbon tool set it's called. It's $15.99. Wow. $15.99 for this ribbon tool set. You get two circles, three and four triangles. <laughs> sort of carving tool, subtractive sculpting tool to kind of, you know, remove clay from crevices and stuff. And it's like, you should always have these in your sculpting toolbox because they are useful, but I just, $15.99 is a lot of money for them, especially when they feel this cheap. So like go somewhere else and get them like Amazon. Next, we've got a new texture roller. These are kind of neat. I don't hate this already. Um, this was $9.99, $10 they want for this. Jeez. So this is just a roller with a texture on it, a negative texture. And then if you roll it on the clay, you'll get the prank that's on it. I got the one that's a sort of rock texture because it would be the most useful for me, but they also have like, I don't know, butterflies and tulips and stuff if you're into that. But this is a texture I can actually see myself using. Very nice, except we've got some seams here. Okay, that would have been really good if it didn't have the seams in it. Like, why would you do that? The seams in the roller transfer to the clay. If this was $3.99 or something, fine, whatever, I'll get over the seams. But for 10 bucks for this light little piece of plastic that probably costs less than 10 cents to make, there shouldn't be seams in it. Let's do it again. Maybe I press too hard, do it a little lighter. But then if you do that, then it doesn't, if you go lighter, it doesn't imprint everywhere. Yeah, there's still seams in it, but it's kind of a nice texture. I could use that, like I could see using this for like big pieces of your sculpt that you don't really need to make perfect. You know, if it's just like a little filler area and you can just like keep going over it over and over again. That kind of looks like a weird, really, really wrinkly skin texture. So that's kind of neat. Looks like a, yeah. You know what, this is great for flat surfaces, but I can't imagine trying to roll this around like a 3D piece and like having all the stones line up and stuff. I mean, I guess you could if you really like took your time. This gets a pass just because it's cool and I love the ease of use and how it's a pretty high quality texture aside from the seams. So there you go, 10 bucks for three cents of plastic. Next up, we have these. And one thing that I've noticed about Michaels is that when Sculpey comes out with something, they copy it. Like Sculpey has a very eerily similar cutting blade set that they released a while ago. They even have like these little teardrop holders on it and Michaels just like totally ripped it off. And they're probably selling it for cheaper. How much is this? Did I accidentally steal this? Oh, here we go, 12 bucks. And I think Sculpey's is more expensive. I have not used Sculpey's blades before, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. We got three of them. Okay, eleven ninety nine isn't isn't that bad for these because they are pretty pretty substantial. I don't understand. We have two that are like the same, except this one's got the blade edge on it. I guess would that make it sharper? But then why would you want this one? They both cut exactly the same. I think these would be more valuable if these two were different, but you know, maybe that's for a type of clay technique that I don't use. But these are pretty substantial. These little plastic pieces are really on there and they do help you hold the blade since they are so large. And okay, these, these win. I think $11.99 is a good price for them. They're legit. Next up, we've got the Craftsmart foliage texture sheets. These are just like rubber sheets with texture on them that you press into your clay. $6.99, not bad. And they feel pretty nice. You get three, oh, so you get six textures, which is cool. Each one is different on each side. Kind of cool, 
cool little textures and I'm sure they imprint on the clay just fine. I bought the one with the leaves because I feel like it's the one that I would probably use the most. Very nice, let's try this one. You don't really have to press that hard either. So that's nice, these are cool. I give these a pass, $6.99, can't really beat that. On to the next thing. All right, next we've got some wire mesh. And what this is, is it's honestly just a giant sheet of wire mesh, <laughs> which can come in handy for creating sculpture armature. I've used this to create capes and wings. It's a lot more, I guess, reliable than aluminum foil because it holds its shape better and it's super easy to bend and work with, but it's also easy to cut yourself on it, so be careful. I kind of wish they didn't fold it because then you have these like really deep creases in it that you have to kind of work out before you use it. But other than that, I think this is good stuff. I believe this was $6.99, which I guess is a good price. It's not a huge piece, but I mean, you don't really make anything that huge with polymer. So this is probably good for like one to two sculptures, unless you're making like a giant cape. But like I said, the only thing that bugs me is that you really got to work out these kinks in it. And it is pretty delicate too. Like you can, if you pull this hard enough, it will rip. Like, see, like it's not super strong. So just be gentle with it and don't cut yourself. And next up we have armature wire. This is actually my personal armature wire and I will be selling this exact stuff soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, this is just 32 feet of, I believe 16 gauge wire. And this is 10 gauge, could be very wrong. But, cause they don't have the gauge on here, they just have like the size in inches. So this is like 0.11 inches. You get 20 feet of this stuff. This is what I use for all my main sculptures. And you get 32 feet of this stuff. And this is what I use to like connect this wire to this wire. I would never really use this stuff alone unless I'm making a really small sculpture because it's super flimsy. And also this is $7.99 a roll, which I think is kind of a lot. But at the end of the day, your armature is the most important part of your sculpture. So, it's good to invest in good wire and I love this stuff. It's aluminum alloy, super flexible. You see me use it in literally every single video. <laughs> I'm trying to drink two and a half liters of water a day. All right, and last but not least, we have this four piece set. This better not be expensive. $5. This was $5. This was $5. They should be giving these away for free. I'm not kidding. These are junk. You can buy a set of 5,000 of these for a dollar on Amazon. Maybe not literally a dollar, but like you get the point. Like this, like, like what is this? I guess if you like, it's for a kid or something, like these are super flimsy, gonna break in two seconds. I'm not a huge fan of these. I don't even know what you're doing with this tool, especially since like the pressure points are so uneven on it and it's not even smooth. So you get all those streaks, you can't even blind with it. I don't know what you're doing with these, like picking your nose or something. Like, don't buy these, five bucks. I know that's not like a crazy amount of money or anything, but these are so crappy that they're not even worth $5. And then I believe the last of the craft smart items that I will be looking at today is this push mold. And I mean, it's a push mold. You can't really, uh, let's see, mold, 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 mold. $8.99, $9 for this. And it's not even solid, like they hollowed out all the negative space in it so they can like save money. But I guess whatever, like I said, saving plastic, right? It's better for the environment. Let's make a turtle. Okay, that's not bad. And you see that I like totally haphazardly pressed that in and it came out pretty good. If you really want to be careful, like you can really like take your time and make these nice. And the fact that it's silicone makes it easy to maneuver the clay out after you've pushed it in, like you just do this and it pops right out. So I guess that's not bad. I don't know what this edge is about here. It's like that on every and everything. It's almost like they, they push the design too deep in the mold and you got this weird funky flat edge on everything. So that's kind of annoying. And for $10, I wouldn't want to be annoyed. Uh, it's okay, the detail could be way better. I don't even know what that is. Is that an anchor? Is it like the symbol for nursing? And they totally, if they moved these things around, 
a little bit, they could have fit like, I wanna say three or four more designs. And this one, they just like copy and pasted it and made a big one and a small one. Like if I'm gonna make 50,000 conch shells that all look exactly the same, they better have good details on them. I'm having way too much fun with this, even though I hate it. So you can see these aren't the greatest, but I guess it gets the job done. So I don't know, 10 bucks for this, maybe. And they also come in like different themes too. I think they have like a flower one, a leaf one, you know, all that fun stuff. And aside from that, they also had a $40 pack of wooden Timu sculpting tools. And I couldn't believe it. It was this small little plastic box filled to the brim. These cheap, junky Timu sculpting supplies. 43 pieces. It's literally this. Like this is from my Timu video and you know how I feel about these. Like don't spend more than $10 on a giant set of these things. No, don't do it. And they also had, you know, different varieties of them in different sets too that I didn't buy because there's no point. I already have all of them and they are not good quality sculpting tools. Like this one's $25, like $25 for what? You get that like cheap black case with it, I guess. Like, and then the other one, just a bunch of spatulas. All right, next up, we're gonna go into the Sculpey tools. These are literally the only three Sculpey brand sculpting tools that Michaels carried at all three locations. And honestly, this is probably all Sculpey has anyway. So that could be why. But, okay, we're gonna start with these. They're just like a vacuum sealed to death in here. These are my personal, well, I have more now, but back when I was just getting started, these are my ball styluses that I used all the time. I love them and I see that they've made the handles firmer again because I remember I, I replaced mine and they were super flimsy and they like kind of cheaped out on them. But it's nice to see that they're using, you know, more plastic in them again. 100% recommend these. Love them, I use them for almost every project. I love the three different ball stylus sizes, the large, the medium, and the small. Use them for everything. And I also love these. I don't love this thing just because it creates a an edge when you're trying to blend things and then you're just like constantly trying to get rid of the lines that it creates so i just never use it but these two i love these two i also love a lot of things like when you find a ball stylus set the distance of the ball to the handle is so small that it's hard to get it into different like nooks and crannies on your sculpt and i like how far away the balls are on these so recommend these all day every day 12.99 so kind of pricey for what you're getting but Again, worth it for the ball stylist tips. And the next Sculpey thing we have is this questionable texture roller, which I really don't understand. I know that Sculpey tends to favor knickknacks and jewelry. Sculpture is not so much the kind of sculpting I do. And you know, nothing against jewelry. I just kind of wish they cared, cared more about us figure sculptors. Cause like, I'm never gonna use this ever. And I was talking to another polymer clay artist in the in the space and they were just talking about how pointless this new roller is i don't i just don't understand like i guess if you're making like a picture frame or something and you want to like put that around like you know make a little border for yourself or something like what is this texture even of like what is this is that like so like tire marks <laughs> like what are you doing with that what is this and then if you don't push hard enough the texture won't indent properly and then if you push too hard you get the the line like that like that's not good it's going be what's going on what what is this and these interchangeable wheels i guess that's okay it's not hard to attach a new one like what is this like oh, here's some leaves oh look at that terrible that's the thing about sculpey like i love Love their clay, you know it. I use it in all of my, for all, they made, it's all my stuff is made out of Sculpey. Nothing bad to say about their clays. But their tools, I just don't, I just don't get them. And I'm just being honest, and I would tell this to their face too. Like, what is this? A rope? And then, oh boy, this one's just balls. Like, what? What are you using this for? What jewelry? 
are you making with this texture? And then if you really want to take advantage of how deep these balls are, these like pearls, you got to press like that hard, even harder actually. Uh, and then what? Nope. Don't like the roller. Don't like the roller. And then we have this from Sculpey. It's this like five in one tool thing that like you interchange the tips on it. And I get what they're trying to do with it. I just would rather have a separate tool for each tip. Oh, and this was $20 for this thing. So we've got a ball stylus. <laughs> what? This is legit a blade with a weird thingy doodad on the tip of it. Like, why is it like that? What are you gonna do with that? And then it comes with a little stand to put all the heads for storage, which, which is like the, no, 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 Sculpey, what is this? So this is the main tool. It comes with a pinhead, a medium ball stylus, this rubber shaper tip, this rubber shaper tip, and then this funky blade. And you put them in here when you're not using them. And you can like cut the hell out of your hand when you're trying to grab something and then this thing just like slices you unless you put your little cap back on it. But um, I don't understand this. Like, hold on, it's magnetic. Do you hear that? It's magnetic. No, but look at that. It like wobbles inside the handle when you're using it. Hear that? That's it banging around in there. I get the concept. It's kind of neat, but at the same time, it's this one's jiggling too. It feels loose, you know, like it feels like if you bought a tool and it wasn't well made. So I don't like that. I don't like this tool. This is, I don't like it. It's $20, not worth it. Just get a set that has all these tools separately. You don't have to interchange all the different tips on it and you don't have to worry about losing them because I know I would definitely lose them. And I just don't think these tips are very useful in sculpting and they could have done better with it. Like just get the ball stylus tool set that we just looked at. And just to clarify, these are all my opinions, not yours. So just keep that in mind. This is what I would use, what I would recommend to you. I don't ever want to say something's good when it isn't. I've never been paid to say something's good that isn't and I never will. And this is just me being honest. So spend $20 on that wax carving set in my description box. And then lastly, I noticed on the shelf was this new Primo color, which is like neon pink. Like, I don't even know you could make a clay this bright. It just kind of caught my eye and I wanted to get it just to play with it. And it's Primo too, which is the good, the good line. Like, look at that, look how bright. I haven't touched Primo in so long. Well, yes, I have, I use it for teeth, but like, just check this out. Bright pink, look at that. It's like glowing, it's so bright. So yeah, that's just my ADHD getting us off course. And just like that, we have gone through every sculpting supply that Michael sells in stores. And honestly, it really wasn't a lot. I think a lot of these items are extremely basic, good for beginners in some cases, but for more serious sculptures, like you're gonna have better luck online finding stuff that's gonna be useful for you. Everything is very entry level, very beginner friendly, and sometimes good, sometimes cheap, not worth it, sometimes overpriced, sometimes priced correctly. And that was that. I honestly thought they were gonna have way more stuff than they did, but I think they have more online, but we're just reviewing what the stores carry. And with all that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you throughout your sculpting journey, whether you go to Michaels to buy yourself or Amazon or anywhere, Polymer Clay Superstore. I hope that you found this video helpful and informative. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.